hello everyone welcome back to the vlog today is monday and i'm eating my banana nut well i guess not nut but banana espresso chocolate chip co cookies muffins and i am going to share how i make those eventually in this maybe not this vlog but eventually because i got a request to do that um, but they're very good i just used espresso chocolate chips instead of regular chocolate chips so basically just find any banana nut recipe and do that. But anyways, I am going to be sharing today how I make my chai tea latte. And I'm going to actually make it a dirty chai, but I'll explain how that works. So, hello, welcome if you're new. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below before we get started. And let's get this week going. All right, so I hope y'all try that out. If you do, let me know. I'll link some uh, links to some chai latte powder. I've tried to make it in the States, like when back whenever we lived there. I've tried to make it with like actual chai tea. It's not the same thing. So chai powder is the key, but I hope y'all enjoyed that. I'm gonna start working on my paint my numbers. I am so close to being done. Y'all have no idea how excited I am to be done. It's a very tedious uh, process, but I'm really happy with how it looks right now. If you missed it, my mom got me this as a gift back in November, December or something. So I worked on it while we were in quarantine, like last week <laughs> for two weeks, and then I am almost done. I'm so excited. So I am gonna finish this up and then I'll share with you guys the final product. Big moves happening, people. Big Swing moves. Into dropped. What? That is what I'm talking about. Sick, dude. Hello? <laughs> what? Hello? <laughs> Sick, dude. Subject is not the number. And then the number is down there. I just got back from the commissary and the PX and the post office. So I have a lot to share. I don't think I'm going to do a grocery haul. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to because it's not really like a planned out weekly thing. But I made it back in perfect timing because it just started to snow. Which you probably can't tell, but it is. Trust me. So I'm going to go ahead and put these groceries away and then open up my package because I think it's something I'm excited about so we'll see alrighty so before my camera dies I'm gonna open this up with you guys plastic on plastic on plastic 
Wow. We got a welcome mat, which I'll open up for you guys to show you. But this is just basically going to go under our mat outside. Little doormat like this. It's going to go under our already out there doormat. And then I got this label maker because I need to start labeling things because I have two of the same water bottles that one has cleaning solution and one has water, very different. So I need to label them. So I got this and it comes with some tape already, like red and uh, brown, red and black tape. But I bought some extra black ones. Then, I'm so excited for this. I bought this. I can't tell you how long I've been wanting a robot vacuum for. And I saw one of the bloggers that I follow on Instagram post about this. And she said the white one was on sale, so I got the white one. And I got like literally $150 off, I think, because I had a coupon, then it was like almost $100 off. It was crazy, so yay. Wow, how stinking beautiful is this? I'm so excited. I can't even tell you how excited I am for this. This is like weird because we don't have any dogs or anything. But now Jake can't complain about pet hair everywhere because this will go every day and get all the stuff up. And we have this kind of floor like everywhere and it just, I don't know what it is about dirt. It just stays there. Like it's always there. I always feel it on my feet and I hate that. So I'm really excited about this. And eventually whenever we move back to the States, if this lasts this long, we will be able to use it in our house. So I'm very excited. So for lunch today, I just threw together some chicken curry and then, so I just put some chicken, curry powder, um, parsley, thyme, onion powder, all kinds of stuff. I'll list it all right here, what I used. And then I threw some red bell pepper in here and then whenever the chicken was about halfway done, I threw some red curry paste in here with some coconut milk. So. We're gonna have coconut milk curry chicken for for lunch today. And then I made some rice and we learned how to make really good rice. So we've been doing really good at it lately. So today I am working on labeling stuff, which I just got a new label maker. I think I showed this to y'all, but I have a bunch of like mason jars. I save all of my glass jars that I get that have lids so that I can like eventually put spices and whatever else into. I'll definitely share what I've used and like what it looks like, but I have been using this, which has been helping me a lot because I, there was a label on here that wasn't the right label. So I, I mean, I knew what it was. It's paprika, but it's a different kind of paprika. So I am using Goo Gone to like get all the label off of it and then I'm going to use my label maker and label it correctly. Um, I'm trying to consolidate all of my spices as well so like I have a little tiny container. Here I'll just show you. So I have a small container. This just says extra spices because this is just kind of like all the stuff that we've bought extra of. There's two Italian seasonings in here, which is weird because we like never use that. And then I have some like onion powder and red pepper flakes and then black pepper, garlic, Tony Chacheries, things like that, that I'm going to eventually like put in here. Um, I'm also thinking about taking these uh, letterings, like letter off of it, letters, oh my gosh, letters off of this and then like using this to make it more, you know, look better because it kind of bothers me sometimes whenever I look at it because it's my handwriting. But I also put a label on my flour. I want to get more containers for all my different types of flour. Y'all know how much I make bread, so I have tons of, type of types of flour. And then um, up here, I have two things, like two big mason jars, which I definitely love these. They're super cheap, easy to get your hands on, the best. I think I got these for like a dollar at Michael's. But I labeled them what they are. I already had this one, but I didn't label it. I just labeled this one as well. And then this is just a candle from Bath and Body Works that I reused for 
uh, some cacao powder, but I also took some of my chia seeds, took them out of the bag, put them in here. Hemp hearts, hemp seeds, whatever. And then I have flax seeds back here. These are also candles that I um, just took the wax out. They're the mini ones from Bath and Body Works. So those are nice because we don't have a whole lot of these, but they are nice to keep in containers instead of bags so you know exactly what you're looking for. So yeah, that's what I'm working on. I love this, this like makes me so happy. And I wanna get more containers because I have more chocolate chips back here that I wanna like put those in one of these. These I got at Target, um, they're pretty expensive, I wouldn't recommend. But I mean, I love them, I want a hundred more, but <laughs> they're just not pricey. Like they're not, they don't fit my price range. And then these are just regular mason jars, I think I'm gonna get more of those. And then these are just candles, so whenever you're done with your candles, the ones that have lids, you can just use in your pantry. Also, tip number two, use your candles, and if they have labels on them that won't come off, use some Goo Gone, and then I'm gonna like run it under hot water and get all that excess oil and stuff off of it, but that's what I'm working on. I'm very excited about it. Very happy with how things are looking right now. Um, I definitely wanna have more containers and kind of like bigger ones for different um, types of flour and like sugars and all that, but it's a work in progress and I'm obviously not gonna go out and buy a ton if I already have like candles and stuff that I can use. So, life hack. put my one thing of chocolate chips in here but I have another white chocolate chip back there but I don't have any more jars with lids I only have one mason jar left and it doesn't have a lid so I did all of this I'm like gonna be work in progress you know but again like I said the thing that makes me happiest is this because I can recycle all these and then whenever I want to refill it there's a store here that they do like you bring in your own jars and pay by weight which is really cool so hopefully we're gonna eliminate the need for all of this eventually one more thing that i'm really proud about i want to buy more of these is these spray bottles it's like very weird lighting right now but these spray bottles um i labeled as well because like i said earlier i have one that has cleaner in it like all-purpose cleaner and then I have one that's just water for plants eventually whenever I start my mini garden again. But I do have a lot of different like Windex, oh, I'm falling, Windex, um, like a bathroom cleaner, stuff like that, um, that I eventually want to put in those jars as well. And then start kind of just buying things like this in bulk where I can like fill it myself. Um, or make my own type of like cleaners and stuff. Oh my gosh. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm pretty much done. Um, but I do, I did get these little candles from one of my friends that I already cleaned out one of them. So I guess I'll show you the one I cleaned out, but where is it? Don't know where it is. So, um, it's just these little tiny containers like this. And what I'm going to do with these is put these probably in, instead of putting food in here, cause it's not like, it's kind of airtight, but I don't know, when it's really small, there's not much I can put in here. I'm out of breath. So I'm probably gonna put those in our junk drawer. I'm not gonna show you that cause it's not cute, but just put little things in there, like little things like this that just kind of like float around in here. I'll put those in a little container. So there's that. I hope this inspired you to make some eco-friendly changes. Um, honestly, it looks better in my cabinets than it did with all the plastic bags and containers anyways. Oh, update. This clip is really long, but I probably won't vlog very much today, but update on my oofy. So I really like it. 
Um, our floors have never been cleaner. And let me turn this way so you can actually see me. Our floors, I feel like, have never been cleaner. Like, when I walk around, there's not dirt on my feet all the time, which is a blessing. And, yeah, I'm, like, really happy with it. I cleaned it out this morning after two, probably three cycles. So, I'm going to try harder to, like, do it every day so that it's, like, always clean. But, yeah, I really like it. I'm really happy with it. It is the best. And I don't have to vacuum every day, which is awesome. And anytime I do have to vacuum, it's just kind of like the carpets because the dirt kind of, you know, gets in there real good. I need a good suction to get it out. But, oh, one more thing, I promise. I, we got Jake's gaming chair in and I haven't showed you guys, so I wanted to do that. Here it is. It's nice, comfy. We got it for like about 150, which is not really bad. So... His room is just like his own little space. I don't go in here and clean. This is like his job to clean in here. So yeah, but we got him this chair because he's been wanting a gaming chair for a long time now. So that is everything. I probably won't vlog much the rest of the day, but that's the update. So I hope you're enjoying this vlog. Mm -hmm.